hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is timmy kems at james so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a jumpsuit with lace fabric and it's really lovely so i'm going to be using my basic bodies pattern so in case you do not know how to draft that make sure you watch my tutorial that i'm going to be linking up here for you so make sure to subscribe guys so let's head into it so for the upper side of the jumpsuit i'm just going to have my basic bodies pattern like so so if you don't know how to draft a basic bodies i'm going to be linking it up for you in the description box so with my basic bodies i've not added any allowances so it's just my bust my waist or affluence and then the hip measurement so this is the complete length of my blouse which is 24 inches that's what i have here although i'm going to be making it a jumpsuit and it's going to be boxed so from here i'm going to be and this is my bust line so let's label it so this is my chest line my bust line my under bust line my affluence or waist and then the length of my blouse so on the bust line i'm going to mark my bust pan measurement and likewise on the the length or the hem side i'll mark my affluence measurement as well so i'm going to go ahead and rule connect this into a straight line like so then the next thing is to take my darts so i'm going to take my darts which will be one inch on both sides now i'm taking one inch because i'm going to be um i'm going to be taking other darts as well so i'm marking one inch on both sides so i'm going to be marking the side bust darts which will also add volume here and as well i'm going to do my under bust tightening which will give me more volume on the bust side right so that's because um i have a fuller chest so if you're somebody who have a smaller chest you can go ahead and mark half inch on both sides right so but for myself i have a fuller chest that's why i need all of that um that allowance so i have a video on how i explained that so i'm going to be linking the video up here so on my affluence as well i'm going to be marking the one inch on both sides then i'll be connecting these lines to give me part of my dart so these are my dart legs now i'll connect them to the hem of the dress like so just go ahead and connect it likewise connect it to the bust like so so by the time i'm done with this i'm going to go ahead and measure what my under bust measurement would naturally be so I'll just go ahead and mark my under bust, right? So I have is my under bust measurement divided by four is 9.5. So I'll mark 9.5 here and I'll measure what I have left. So I have around 1.04. So I'm going to mark 0 0.75 on this side because this is the fullest side of the or you can even go ahead and mark one inch on this side, then 0 0.4 on this side so if you've not seen my video on under bust tightening i'll as well be linking it so you understand why i took that measurement there so i'll just connect like this to the hem and connect this side as well to the hem you can go ahead and connect your under bust but i wanted to slim my under bust a little bit that's why i didn't bring the line to my under bust before i took it here so the next thing i'm going to do is to make my curve I do not want any pointed line trains around here so i'm going to be using my curved side i'm going to connect my curve like this so normally i would do it like this but i discovered that it wasn't sort of giving me um complete um package from my underboss side because i'm busty just like i said initially so if you are a smaller bust person you can go ahead and mark it this way right so i'll do the same thing on this side as well like so right so the upper side is going to be off shoulder right although it's going to have like a um a sleeve a spaghetti sleeve that comes up but basically it's going to be off shoulder right so i'm going to mark where i want the bust to start from like the off shoulder point to start from so i'll work with 5.5 .5 inches right so i'll mark 5.5 .5 here and 5 Point five on this side as well so i'll just go ahead and connect it like so into a straight line 
so for our off shoulder points this side is not going to be needed so for my i'm just going to mark my neckline which from the upper side i'll just work with seven inches because i want it to have a little bit of a v-shaped um neck so i'll just sort of draw my v-shape out like so you can do a sweetheart neck whatever works best for you so this is going to be my neckline right so i'm going to mark i'm going to extend my boss pan measurements that five inches boss pan line this midline here i'll extend it all the way up like so then i'm going to take that on the upper side of my body like right to give me a proper curve so i'm marking one inch on both sides like so but then that one inch is not going to be enough for the curve that i want so i'm going to be adding an extra one inch on this side for tightening now i'm just adding it on this other side which is the fullest side of the bust so i add one inch here now if you want it to be slanted if you want the line to come slanted instead of marking this one inch here you're going to mark all your darts on this side right so so that it will avoid um you have you'll be able to avoid this slant here right so i will just start marking mine from here and i'll this one inch that i have from here to here i'll bring it back to this side like so then this point is going to be so from here to here is my that so i have about three inches for that that there so i'm just going to find the midpoint of it which is 1.5 and i'll connect instead of this line here i'll connect this one to that point i'll connect my 1.5 to the mid to my boss point measurement right so by the time i do that i will now go ahead and using a curve i'll mark out my bust sorry this is the line so this is going to be my dart right so now remember that that's a depth so wherever you take them you have to pay for it so i just took three inches from here so on this side i'm going to pay back that three inches like so so i extend this line like this so i've paid back my three inches here right so now i'm going to measure this dart that i took here on the bust side right I have 0 0.6 inches so i'll pay for that 0 0.6 inches on this side right i'm going to be needing half inch to, uh, one inch to join this side of the bust and this side of my outfit so i'll mark my one inch like so then i'm going to be needing my sewing allowance finally so i'm going to but before then let me connect my new armhole so my new armhole is going to be like this from this point I'll connect it to where I paid my dart like this. Then I'll mark my sewing allowance, which will be two inches. So I'll mark two inches like this. Now on the affluent side, you measure your dart that is here. I have 2.1 inch. So I'll mark the 2.1 inch because that adept. I'm going to mark um, one inch for joining this panel and this panel together. Then I'm going to mark my regular two inches sewing allowance then on the hip my dad did not cut out but my dad i didn't take any dart on the hip but i'm going to need one inch to join this panel and this panel together so i'll mark the one inch and then i'll mark two inches sewing allowance right that sewing allowance can be any number of your choice so i'll just go ahead and connect my points like so so don't worry at this point if it looks a little bit weird it's because of this dart on the affluent side because it's big by the time we sew this dart in there will be more going inwards from that side so the figure or the shape will sort of come out properly right so this is it about our upper side now if you want to add more style lines to this you can go ahead and add a lot more um style lines to it right but if you don't if you don't mind it just being like this is fine you can just go ahead and leave it this way so on the front side of the blouse you remember i said i'm going to add it, it that on this side so 
before then i'm going to box it the way i want first so this is the this is the waist side or the affluent side right so i'm just going to sort of draw it in to this side like so then i'm not going to be having this side if you want more boxing you can just go ahead and extend it to this side but i'm i'm just let me just extend it a little bit like so and like this so it's just going to be like this right so this is what we're going to have on the front side now i'm going to mark that 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 i told you i'm going to be taking here a little bit so on this line which is my bust line i'm going to come down by by 1.25 so that's going to be with that so i'll just connect it to this line like so to my bust point and on this side it's just going to be straight because these these are my allowances so i'm going to tape this down i would cut this side out and tape it down right so for the back side i just turned the paper and i extended the lines just like i have on the front so i'm going to mark my back armhole right mark my back armhole then i'm going to mark my sewing allowance on the back which is two inches so because i don't have any that here then on the affluence point i'll mark um i'll mark one inch for that one inch sewing allowance and then two inches for my dad for my sewing allowance right that one inch sewing allowance is for joining this panel and this panel here as well i'll mark the one inch for joining the both panels then i'll just go ahead and connect like so connect this on this affluence point so that i eliminate any folds on that place when i add my zip i'll just take out one inch from the hem upwards like so so this is the hem remember so i'll just go ahead and connect it like this so that will be it so i'm going to be cutting out the back now so just look so you see where i'm cutting So I'm going to be cutting this line, this other that open, right? So I'll just cut it. I forgot to pay back for this that. So by the time I'm by the time I'm cutting out the fabric, I'm going to add this 1.5 from here downwards and curve it out again. Right? So make sure you bear that in mind. So don't forget to add that 1.5 like this and cover it back to this line here when you're cutting out the fabric. So I'm going to be using this really beautiful lace for the downside of the trouser or the lower side of the trouser. And I'll be lining it with this satin and it's so gorgeous. So let me show you what's going to be like underneath. So the lining is not going to go all the way to the hem. So it's going to be somewhere around the knee side, right? so this is what this is what it looks like and it's so beautiful guys right so we are going to go ahead and cut we are cutting out the fabric from the lining so we are keeping the lace aside and i'm going to work with the lining first to draft the trouser side so just like i said the the interfacing is not going to go all the way down so it's just going to stop around the knee so i'm going to mark the length of the of the inner pants so i'll mark it like so i'm working with 22 so it's not exactly going to be on my knee point i'll draw it like so now for you to know what the amount of fabric you fold you're going to measure your lap measurement divide by two plus three inches that's what you're going to be folding so 
I'll mark one inch here for sewing allowance. So I'm going to mark that one inch here and all the way down. So I'll connect that like so. So now I'm going to mark the distance from my waist to my hip which is nine inches then the distance from my waist my hip to my affluence so ordinarily my affluence point is 12 inches but i'm going to make it 14 inches because this is a jumpsuit right so i'll mark 14 inches so i'll go ahead and mark that 14 inches like this as well and i'll draw it in a straight line like so so on this point i'm going to go ahead and mark on the 14 i'm going to mark my lap measurement divide by two right a lap measurement divide by two is what i'm going to be marking like so then going to mark the distance from my waist to my hip like so then I'll be marking my hip measurement I'll be marking half of my hip a quarter of my hip measurement on the hip point then that quarter of my hip measurement is what I'm going to be marking on the waist side as well so i'll connect this into a straight line all the way down to the affluence point like so now on this point i'll just measure this line from here to here i'll mark half of it then i'll use that to mark just go ahead and mark my crouch curve so from there from this waist side now i'm going to go ahead and mark starting from here i'll mark my waist measurements coming outwards like so then i'll mark half inch for one inch for that and then this one inch sewing allowance we left here i'll go ahead and mark it from here coming outwards one inch like so right so i'll connect this side to the hip point now from here coming in i'll mark my dart measurement right so my boss pan is five then i'll mark half inch on both sides I'll just mark my dart the length of my dart i'll go ahead and mark it so one six inches so i have my dart like this right now I'll move my fabric further and what i have here Whatever I have here to this line, I'll divide it by two. Like so. And that's what I'll come and mark on this knee side here. Like so. So. Mark here as well. So I'm going to draw a line on the midpoint to this side. Now, whatever my knee measurement is, or the point where this is supposed to stop, I'll just go ahead and measure that point, how loose or how tight I want it to be. Then I'll measure half of it, right? So I'll mark half of it. So I want 25. So half of 25 is going to be 12.5, right? So I'll divide 12.5 
by two so whatever i have i'll just place the measurements on this midline and mark 12.5 on this side and 12.5 on this side right and the half <laughs> the, the remaining half then i'll come with my pant curve and connect these points like so right so instead of connecting this point back to the hip line you remember we have one inch sewing allowance on this side so i'll mark that one inch here then i'll connect it to the hip point here so i have my line connected up to here like this right so the next thing I'm going to be doing now is to, if this wasn't a jumpsuit, if it was just a pant, I'll come down by one inch here. But since it's a jumpsuit, I'm going to leave it like this. Now, there's a problem I usually have with my pant. If you have a little bit of a, like a tummy, so you're going to need to go ahead and do this step. So from this lap, this hip measurement here, or anybody that has a hip dip, it would be nice if you do that. I'll go in by 0 0.75 from here, like so. Then you just sort of connect it gently back to your, your, your curve like this. You connect that, and then you connect it back to this point. So that's to eradicate some excess you usually have when you have a hip dip or you have a tummy bulge. So this will eradicate that fold that folds around here. Right, so you just go ahead and cut the front out now. I'll just fold this plus three inches or 3.5 inches extra from what I folded the front. So I'll just lay, I'll lay the back on the front like so. right so now i'm going to be extending this crouch line from the front to sort of go into the back extend the crouch line so on that crouch line i'm going to be adding three inches to accommodate my butt so i'll be adding three or if you have a fuller butt you can do 3.5 right so i'll add that on the crouch line so on this side i'm going to mark two inches now you rip that two inches is going to give us our sewing allowance that's supposed to be inside the pant. So we have the one on the side already. So we'll mark that two inches for the one inside of the pant. Then I'm going ahead to mark this line like so using my French curve. Sorry, using my pant curve. I have that line like that then from here i'll go down by on the back side i'll go down 0 0.6 inches right and i'll connect it i'll just connect it back like this right so on this side i'll just i'll just go up by one inch remember that one inch we took out of the front on the center back that's what i'll replace here then i'll mark i'll measure what i have here like so i have 12.9 so i'll just raise it up to that one inch point and mark my 12.9 point then i'll go ahead and connect it in a curve to meet this line so you can just go ahead and use your hip curve but i usually like to do this by freehand so you connect it here then i'll draw this line like so and then i'll mark my back that point so from this point i'll mark five inch here then one inch half inch on both sides right so I'll cut that out before I draw in my dart.
now i'll move the front and mark draw in my dart properly so usually the back that is shorter than the front that on the pant so here is our back side of the pants and the front side of our pants. So I'll cut it on the lace now, but I'll extend the length on the lace. So by the time I was done, I went ahead to cut out all my panels. I cut four panels each because I'm going to be using the same material for the lining. And then I also went ahead to cut out um, my lace fabric on the pant side and i extended the legs of the fabric and that was it so th i just eyeballed it actually but please don't do that make sure you measure yours properly so that is it about our tutorial so see you guys in my next tutorial where i'm going to be showing you how to sew these um jumpsuits so please if you're not yet subscribed ensure to subscribe to my channel and see you in my next tutorial guys bye